Welcome to part two. Look, I'm Sergeant Hung Funny. This is my impression of Carrie Ann Carpenter. We've only just begun. <laughs> I don't get out enough. Okay, it's part two, fellas. What we're going to do is arms today. And the first thing I've done is carefully put this guy back together and I just taped him because we're going to be drilling the holes to put the arms in. And we want to keep this apart right now. It's going to make it a lot easier, a lot better than the tiger figure uh, to put back together and make sure everything matches up and get a real smooth flow. So this one's going to be real good. All right, let's do a little stuff here. Okay, using the Moto tool, we've taken another suspension arm there, right there. And we have cut off the little tube right there, which leaves us with this. Now you're going to look in there, and one end has got a little bevel in it. That's the one you're going to want to use your knife, or if you're real careful with your motor tool, open it up so the other half of that BB is going to fit right down in there, flush, you see? Flush. All right. Now we've taken our tank commander. We've drilled out a socket for the uh, for that tube right there. All right, you want to make sure that that fits in there real tight. Uh, that's real important because this is going to be a point of a lot of force, relatively speaking. So uh, what you want to do is make sure that that is in there tight. All right. Okay, I got the, uh, the arm joint there in. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but once that's fit in there tight, I cut a little V around the circumference of it. And the purpose of that is going to be to uh, hold more uh, of the CA glue to hold the thing in. Now, since this is styrene, you could use plastic cement, but I would go ahead and back it up on the inside with uh, some CA. Now, we've got it in there. We've got it where we want. We're not going to permanently glue it in yet. What we're going to do is on the back side, remember, front, back, on the back side of it, we're going to just tack that thing in there for now. Okay, so we can still take it apart and we can work on it, adjust it if we need it. All right, it'll all come together. I'll show you. Now, you see, I got it just tacked in there on that side. I took a tape off. Now, you see the reason for not permanently gluing it in yet. You see there's a bit. You put it flush out there, but uh, it's off just a little bit. So now you can adjust it if you want to. Another purpose is that BB pivot right here is now that that BB can still let the arm go in straight and move even though it's not straight in here. You see that? The only Now this isn't extreme, but the only problem you would have is if the wire bound up in there. But I don't think we're going to have that problem with this. But on another figure you might. Alright, so let's keep on going. Alright brothers, uh, as you can see right now got the little flange put in there for the arm and let's uh Let's talk about the uh, arm placement. Okay, well, I got that all CA'd in. Nice little fillet going around there. I'm real happy with it. Now let's talk a little bit about arm placement. Now we looked out on the American Tank Commander because his, as his arm goes up, it, um, it falls right into place where it should for him holding a pair of binoculars. Okay, which is real convenient. His hand position is even good for holding a pair of binoculars. So we're not going to have to do much with this arm. All right. Uh, one thing we are going to have to do. See, this is where it's, we, we snapped it off when we were disassembling him. What we're going to have to do is that's kind of rough in there. We don't want any roughness. So we're going to take us a little bit of a fine sandpaper. And we're going to clean that up a little bit. Okay, here's what we've done. The other half of that BB we drilled or we cut into, we drill a hole in it just like we did for the head and serve the brass rod. Okay, this doesn't have to be that tight. But what you also want to do is here on your arm, you want to drill out a hole big enough for a piece of this plastic rod. Alright, and this is real important because what you're going to do with that piece of rod is you're going to cut a piece long enough to fit into that cavity and the brass rod is going to go through and this is what's going to anchor your arm to your body. I'll show you how that's going to look. Okay, what I've done is I've put the wire in with the bra or with the little BB so you can see you know how even though if your arm is off some 
that BB is going to pivot and allow you to maintain your straightness. Okay? So that's the purpose of that. Alright, got this uh, little bushing put in there. That's what's going to actually hold the arm on. Now, if you can look, I don't know if you can see it better there, but uh, it looks like that hole is off center, and it is. I centered the hole on the center of pivot of the arm, not the center of that little uh, piece of plastic. Because the when I, we snapped the arms off, okay, we got the arm together now, and this is just going to slide into the socket. We're going to test to make sure that we got some movement here, nice smooth movement. See the BB rotating in there? Pull out a little bit, show you. Right in there. So there you go. All right, more in a second. 